It, it's Maybelung. He's come back. And uh, part we just. Two. <laughs> part two. <laughs> we just uh, did an interesting beard measurement to guitar ratio, and we discovered that Maybelung has a beard. Where is it? Which, which is 21 frets long. I reckon you could play with it, mate. Yeah. It would be amazing, wouldn't it, if you could whip the guitar with your beard. <laughs> kind of like Philip Sace does with his, with his guitar lead, you know. I'll weave it into my pubes and pluck it like a bass. <laughs> so we're doing some blues today. Why not? Lots of slide playing. And um, we've been experimenting with different kinds of plectrum. Nobody say V-pick because I'm, I'm bored of people saying V-pick now. This is the Chapper's Troll pick made of stainless steel. One that off. one's mine. I that brought one, that that's one. your timber tone, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and um, so we're having fun and we're using the <laughs> Chapper's Stack Tower of Power. Oh, it is. Good dramatic upsweep there. Mate. See what I did? Yeah. It's all about the angles, mate. It's very good. Uh, Dark Terror. Maybe the Coolidge later on for the God Lols and then the JCM. And then I'm using these TC Electronic. <laughs> I just put Maybelung in Open G Blues, and um, so it's it's a brand new experience for him. To experience. To experience this Open G Blues. You are getting very panoramic today, aren't you? I try. <laughs> it's, the, it's the enormous breakfast I had. I like this camera because if you if you pan too fast, watch this look. It goes. Oh, I still could do it now. It brings up a message going panning too fast. So you could give the camera to a complete. And it's like you them as they go along. And it would just be telling them, pan slower. Like Peter. <laughs> Maybelung will now make coffee appear with his beard. Ready? <laughs> wow! Oh there my go. god, dude. I don't know how you did that. But that's the kind of magic I want to learn. So this is, uh, this is coffee number two now. <laughs> we're, we're well into our caffeinated portion of the lesson and just what I'm waking up yeah what I've just shown Maybelung is how to what I call leave a hole so what did you just do bent my finger never do it again <laughs> sorry um, so this is well I'll show them what we do so bend the note make the hole and then one string and nothing else release the bend and bend it again cover it Release the bend. Very good. There you go. So this is how I practice my um, my leading. I'll, I'll show you now. If you if you grab the camera, I'm pointed at pointed at me. Yep. <clears throat> I can't. That's right. I'll tell you what. You can you can now see what you're looking at. Yay! There you go. Yay, that's what we're talking you about. Flick the thing around. Um. So yeah, it's the same thing. I'll plug in this time. Why not? It's traditional. Um. Because I left my Left my Roland Cube at uh, the Vintage Guitar Fair and now uh, Mike's got it. Mike, damn you, Mike! <laughs> so, yeah, I, I take a note. I call it holding this practice, holding. <laughs> so I'll, I'll rake in, swell the volume, and pick a note to bend and hold. Maybe I'll do a lower one. So I'm leaving a, a big hole here for that. Sometimes it's really easy if I'm doing just a high string. Well, that's how I play everything, which is why there's no, there's no. There's no unwanted noise, everything's nice and clean. It's all kind of the sound you get is the sound you were after. And also, you don't get dissonance caused by the strings trying to, to vibrate. Like if I just bend and don't mute. Hear that whoa, whoa coming in? Whoa, 
that kind of phasing sound. It's the other strings resonating. And that's just a pure note, because nothing is trying to interfere with that particular sound. Ha <laughs> <laughs>